my floral following a paper trail again and here is the kit the weighted kit for the gingerbread house recipe box if you've been waiting I've been trying to get it up for a couple days so to make one that looks just like mine you can order this kit at my Etsy shop at follow the paper trail dot Etsy dot com <coughs> excuse me and I will put that address on the screen right now um what's in the kit is stuff everything you need to make your box look like this one and it's got the stuff to make the cards it's also got the recipe card sheets all that good stuff so it's got as I said the recipe card sheets that look like this that have the little cutout I've made these on my computer so that's what they look like so there are six of those to make those six cards there are also six, one, two, three, four, actually no, there's four, okay, four, oh yeah, hold on, three, um, there's four, six by twelve sheets of basil cardstock in a gingerbread color, you're going to cut these into, out of each sheet you'll get three, um, of the recipe cards that go in there that are four by six, so that'll give you a total of twelve out of those, it has this bow bunny, um, not snowy um, snowflake kind of print there's two six by twelve pieces in there in order to do your cover <coughs> it has a six by six of this Ann Griffin gingerbread this is the coolest paper um, gingerbread uh, paper to do the top of your gingerbread house and has a six by six white basil cardstock for doing some of the foo-foo and it has this dark chocolate, and you can't see it, but it's got these tiny little grid of squares on it. And this is a five and a half by eight and a half piece of this dark chocolate. A slightly different color of the basil gingerbread in six by 12 in order to cover your gingerbread and some of the other gingerbread, ha uh ha, -huh, um, or foo foo stuff. Um, then we have some smaller, these are three by four pieces of the Merry Mint collection from, um, American Crafts to do the um, the photo mat cards in there. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. Um, some of this peppermint stripe to do some of the um, stuff on the front, like the um, shutters, all that kind of stuff. I also have um, the punches of the um, peppermints. So there's the white as well as the red background for them. So you can make your peppermints that go on your some of the um, cards inside as well as on the cover. And I also gave you some of the Martha Stewart white glitter uh, so you can glitter them up so they look really cute done that way. Um, I also have some of the peppermint stars that I used on the other um, cards in here. And with those, what I did is I took those stars and placed them on the uh, gingerbread colored basil cardstock. I glued them on and then cut them out close to that so it almost looks like a cookie. And then this is just a scallop circle punch. And then on the back side, I did a, just a white punch and um, a swirl or pretty much pretty much put anything on there. I also have um, the North Pole stamp for the bottom of the cover. I have the Christmas tree for the back and then the six white uh, number 10 envelopes and these aren't just from the office supply store these are actually from a paper store and they are acid free so you got those so basically what you need oh and the other thing that's in here that I don't have set out is um, the chipboard cut to the sizes you need in order to make um, your gingerbread house recipe thing so I have these all ready to ship out I can start shipping them out on um, tomorrow Monday so that you can get them in time to make them for a Christmas present um, most places it's going either first class or uh, priority mail um, whichever gets it there within two to three days except for international international takes a little bit longer but anyway if you're wanting to make one of these that look just like mine then you can visit my Etsy shop at follow the paper trail dot etsy dot com and thanks a bunch and we'll see you soon bye